ready to flex. We are ready to rock. Headed to the top. A lot of emotions, but just staying calm throughout the game. We're really confident. We hope to make a deep run come hard. We got next. Can't settle for less. I'ma need your best. So give it all you got. It's one of the five biggest gyms in the in the country. Obviously, a local connection this year. So it's just a great atmosphere for the guys to see all the history. Doctors, you better recognize who the winners is. Deck the halls with basketballs. We got a holiday hoops edition of the Highlight Zone right here. And if Santa's a basketball junkie, one of his first stops on Christmas night would be Marion's Bill Green Arena. It's one of the biggest high school gyms in the state, nay the country, nay the world. Andy McDonald spent his day there at the Marion Hoops Classic, and he joins us with your Highlight Zone Game of the Week. Andy. Hey, thank you, Glenn. I guess I forgot my ugly Christmas sweater. Christmas time, oh, time for seeing, yeah, old friends. In that case, it's your Game of the Week. Bishop Dwinger taking on Richmond, led by former Northside head coach Shabazz Kalik. Dwinger versus Richmond. It's your Highlight Zone Game of the Week down in Marion. The Saints off to a 4-1 and one start, Kalik first year in Richmond. He also brought along the Croft brothers, Lucas and Drew. First quarter, Dwanger starting strong. John Hoffman on the inside. It's 10 zip Saints still in the first. Richmond's Lucas Croft. Yeah, he's the transfer from the legend from deep. That's the lone bucket for the Red Devils in the first quarter. It's 17-3 after one. Second quarter, Saints not messing around. Hayden Smithy feeling spiffy. A trio of threes for the senior for the Saints. They take a huge 35-21 advantage at the half. And I talked to head coach Matt Koskoff after the game. He said, if this team is sharing the ball, they are especially lethal. Move to the second half. The ball movement finds Matt Kachansky. Kaching, corner pocket, he drills this one. And then coming the other way, it's QB1, Brendan Lytle on the football team, the state championship football team. Also PG1, three in transition, he had 12 points. Croft, the ball state commit, you'll see him here, the tough bucket in the lane. He had 16 points for this Saints defense. Hey, there's a sixth seed in the SAC holiday tournament, how about that? Dwanger, three players in double figures. Bishop Dwenger, they win easily, 61-44, the final. We have a mindset to play hard this year. We have a different kind of culture than we have in the past. We expect to win when we come into play. And um, uh, playing against two great Fort Wayne players like the Croft brothers, uh, got to contain them like we did in the first half. Second half, they kind of started getting a little hotter. but. We executed pretty well, and uh, I think that's why we won. In the first quarter, all five starters got on the board, so how tough is this team to defend? Uh, I think we're tough to defend when we share the ball. We're all pretty selfless players and just pass the ball around. You know, anyone on any given night can drop 15, 20 points. We really try to stress sharing the basketball, and we do that because we have guys that can score. Yeah, Hayden's, Hayden's the go-to guy. But Jared, you know, I think Matt led us in scoring today. Had 16. I think we had three guys in double figures. So if we do that, I think we we can stay competitive in a lot of games. Next up, Dwanger, the six seed. Like I said in the SAC Holiday Tournament, they face the three seed Homestead next Thursday at 9 a.m. Glenn, back to you. Of course.